Hi guys, Remy here again. In this video, I'll be talking about why you should get the MacBook Pro 2015 in 2019. This is my personal laptop for almost 3 years now, and all I can say is that my whole experience with this laptop has been nothing short of amazing. Before I'll be talking about the 5 main reasons of getting this laptop, first a quick recap of its main specs and how it stacks up to my everyday usage. First is the software. It is running the latest software available for MacBooks, which is the Mac OS High Sierra version 10.13.6. This is an advantage of having this laptop because knowing the history of Apple and its updates, this laptop will be expected to receive major updates for several years to come, which means I won't have to worry about being obsolete in the near or distant future. Next is the 15.4 inch screen. So it has a resolution of 2880 by 1800, which means it has a very detailed and beautiful display, coupled with the retina which makes the display look vibrant and crisp. So I personally have the 15-inch screen which is essential for me as I always binge watch series or movies, and basically watch a lot of media content. So the 15-inch screen is more than enough to fit my needs and how I use the laptop. The third one is the processor. It packs a 2.8GHz Intel Core i7 processor, so being an architecture student, what it means for me is a seamless and smooth experience when running programs for architecture, rendering, video editing, and day-to-day -day regular activities. MacBooks in general are known to be excellent in these areas, which is why I personally bought this one as I do a lot of renderings, video editing, and 3D modeling. Next is the memory. The MacBook Pro 2015 has 16 gigs of RAM, which is more than enough for me. Apple is known to optimize its programs excellently, even in memory-hungry programs. So the 16 gig RAM is still fairly huge for 2019. So the next area is the graphics. It has two variants depending on your choice. It has the Intel Iris Pro 1536 MB, which is what I have, and its older brother, which is a better one, the AMD Radeon version. I personally got the Intel one because it is much cheaper and still performs to all my needs. So both the graphics are super fast in most programs and basic games, but is not for heavy games, as it is not a gaming laptop. Don't get me wrong, it still performs excellently, but it is not built for intensive gaming. But taking the heavy games out of the scene, this graphics is still very recommended in 2019. Lastly is the battery. It packs a 99.5 watt or lithium polymer battery. What I can say is that its battery is quite better than its Windows counterpart. When doing light to moderate tasks, it will take me around 6 to 7 hours which is really great. And if I do heavy tasks, it lasts me around 4 to 5 hours. It all depends on your activity. But I personally think MacBooks have well-optimized batteries, which is great if you don't have any outlet for a long time. So after reviewing the specs and how it stacks up to my everyday task, here are the 5 main reasons on why you should buy the MacBook Pro 2015 in 2019. Number 1 reason is that it is the last MacBook with several essential ports. I just can't stand having limited ports. From time to time, I would need several ports and the ports in the MacBook Pro 2015 are all essential for me. It has two USB ports which is enough as I need to plug in my mouse, which leaves me with a spare one if I need to plug a flash drive. This MacBook also has an HDMI port that I can use for PowerPoint presentation and simply watching movies and series on a bigger screen in the television. Also, it has a SD card slot which is very much important for me as I own a DSLR camera and it's super convenient to just insert the SD card slot anytime. 
And lastly, it has an audio jack. I love having the audio jack to plug in my headphones as watching contents and videos are so much better with earphones because its sound quality is very full and rich. Number two reason is the value for money. So as of the filming of this video, there are no more MacBook Pro 2015 being sold in the Apple Store. But you can get them in various online sites for $1,000 to $1,200. The base 2018 version of MacBooks are sold for around $2,800. That's a difference of $1,600. If you ask me, it's not worth all that money as the MacBook Pro 2015 can practically run most programs available. You can save yourself the excess price by buying the MacBook Pro 2015. Number 3 reason is seamless ecosystem. So this one doesn't apply for people using Android and Windows. Another reason of buying the MacBook Pro 2015 is its seamless ecosystem. You don't need a huge amount of money to enjoy Apple's ecosystem. I personally have an iPhone 6S Plus and this MacBook Pro 2015. What it does for me are wonders as file sharing and overall ecosystem is very smooth and seamless. With just a click of the airdrop, I can send files from my phone to my laptop within seconds. No more finding wires to connect both devices and hassle transferring files. Number 4 reason to get the MacBook Pro 2015 is the MagSafe adapter. Newer MacBook does not have the MagSafe adapter. For me, it just gives me the added safety if I accidentally pull the wire. The MagSafe will do its job and save my laptop from falling. It's just nice to know I have these features which helps protect my laptop. The last reason to get this MacBook is that it still has the LED backlit Apple logo display. It just gives off a premium feel to the MacBook having the conventional backlit Apple logo which signifies premiumness and excellent build quality. If I'm paying a good amount of money, I would certainly want it to look premium. Its backlit Apple logo simply gives off a premium feel that I love having. And having the backlit Apple logo gives off an identity to Apple. So that's all guys. These are the main reasons to get the MacBook Pro 2015. Hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe for more content on lifestyle, productivity, and tech. And also, if you have comments and suggestions, please feel free to write it down below. Once again, I'm Remy and thank you so much for watching. Until next time!